This is British man Unaeus Gomez. He went to Peru on a spiritual retreat and was killed during a hallucinogenic ritual by yeah, this man, before. Canadian Joshua Stevens. They were staying here, the Phoenix Ayahuasca Center in the Amazonian jungle. It calls itself a shamanic healing retreat. Unaeus Gomez died after taking part in an ayahuasca ceremony. It involves drinking a kind of tea containing a natural psychedelic compound. And then I was trying to get away from him and then he started punching me. The man who killed Unaeus Gomez has spoken for the first time to Channel 4 News. Unaeus, stop, stop what you're doing. Think, think, think. And like, I was like, come back. I was like, it's, it's your friend, I'm your friend. And, and, uh, and, uh, um, he just kept on saying that. We gotta get your demons out together, brother. We're gonna get your demons out. There has been rumor and confusion surrounding what happened deep in the jungle. Joshua Stevens' version of events is that Unaeus Gomez took a double dose of the plant brew and turned on him. He grabbed a big knife about this big and I was and he there was a big table between us and he started like pushing the table towards me, trying to pin me with the table. And I was just screaming with him, pleading with him to stop and like at this point, this is when I was like, this man is trying to kill me. Mr. Stevens claims what he did next was self-defense. He just came at me swiping. It's a small cut, that's where he hit me. He just grazed there and he grazed here. And then he tried, we were wrestling for the knife. That's when I made the decision that it's either kill or be killed. Joshua Stevens, who was speaking after he was released by police, told Channel 4 News he stabbed Mr. Gomez twice, in the stomach and in the chest. And I was just shaking his head and slapping his face, and I was like, Uneus, Uneus, I was like, get up. I was like, I was like, why did you do this? Uneus Gomez's family has told Channel 4 News toxicology tests apparently showed Mr. Stevens had not been on drugs at the time. They say they don't understand why he stabbed Ineas twice. <laughs> there are questions too about the police's decision to release him. One of the first things he did was visit a hairdresser's. Back at the retreat, an eyewitness claimed Ineas Gomez attacked him as well as Joshua Stevens. When I hit me with his fist here, and he kept hitting me, and I grabbed him. And I see that they're struggling and they're both holding the knife. And he bent his body while struggling and there the knife went in. It wasn't intentional. Unais was chasing him. Mark Thornbury runs the retreat with his sister. They say their prayers are with the men's families, but he defends the use of the hallucinogenic blend, ayahuasca. You can't blame the plant. The plant has helped thousands of people. Um, I believe it's, it, it's something like 20,000 cups of ayahuasca served here every Tuesday and Friday night. I've only heard of 11 people that have died associated with one of the camps. Unaeus Gomez was a Cambridge graduate. He'd started a company in America. His family said he was teetotal, a fan of meditation. He texted his girlfriend from Peru to say he'd run away from the retreat, a crazy place. But then he sent a message saying a new shaman had come and he was going back to the camp. It was his last text.